Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to cover our road test we did on the lithium battery upgrade to our Casita driver trailer using the Battleborn battery that you see here. The lithium road test was performed on a trip that we just took. We had two occasions on this trip where we were going to boondock at Cracker Barrel, which meant we would be totally off grid. And we'll show you the results of uh, what happened when we boondocked at the Cracker Barrel. This trip also allowed us to evaluate the Victron battery monitor here and the Victron solar charge controller that we installed. All right, we're at the Cracker Barrel. We've been here about four hours. You can see currently we're using uh, 18 watts coming out of our battery. We're down to 98%. When we started this uh, four hours ago, we were at 100%. The solar panel is putting out about 41 watts right now. And then we're taking an additional 18 watts out of the battery. You can see here we've got about three days estimated at the current consumption of the battery. Uh, but that's because our solar panel is providing power also. Uh, right now we uh, are charging the computer. We do have lights on. The max fan that came with the trailer is uh, running on 5, which is mid-range. It goes from 1 to 10 for the settings. Uh, we're using it to pull cool air in and from the uh, outside. And uh, we're comfortable here, so uh, we'll give you a look at it in the morning. All right, this is a screenshot of our uh, battery monitor the next morning. You can see we have 86% of our battery left. We only use 14% of our battery overnight. Uh, you can see right now I'm drawing about 8 watts out of it. I don't have a whole lot on right now. The, uh, the fan's on about 3. Uh, that was, was what is on all night long. Uh, we got up this morning. We did have to uh, turn the heat on for a little bit. It is the propane heater, but it still uses electricity for the fan. And you can see it took us down to 86%. This is a screenshot now that we've started the Jeep up. The sun's up, charging with solar. And you can see that we're putting uh, 71 watts uh, back into the battery. Uh, we're drawing 5.25 amps uh, into the battery. Now that's a combination of about 40 watts coming from the uh, solar panel and the rest of it's coming from the pigtail on the uh, seven pin coming from the Jeep. And as you can see, it's not overdrawing current coming from the Jeep because the Jeep will only supply a certain amount of power to it. So with all that being said, I would say this was definitely a success on the lithium battery. We were very happy with the results and uh, we look forward to boondocking more in the future. Well, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for your support and we'll see you in the campgrounds.